I am your host, Tabaka Ngobe. Today we are discussing the revival of Zimbabwe's National Youth Service, which was initially introduced by the then Youth Minister Abodakezi in 2001. It was later scrapped by the late former President Robert Mugabe's government due to funding problems. Announcing a cabinet decision to reintroduce the National Youth Service, rebranded as the Youth Service in Zimbabwe, Information Minister Jenfan Musere said training will commence in June with the aim of instilling national identity and patriotism. Those who go through the training will be prioritized in employment in the public sector and enrollment at state universities. Critics say ZANU-PF will take advantage of this training to advance its political ideology, engage in violence, and violate people's rights. Youths who were trained by the Mkabe government were allegedly used as a political tool of the ruling party to silence the opposition, but the government dismissed the allegations as wishful thinking for their forceful ways the trained youth became known as green bombers. Zimbabwe is not the only country to have a national youth service as countries like South Africa, Namibia and Kenya have the same training. To discuss this issue, we are joined on the phone by independent political analyst Professor Rekim Konza, ZANU-PF Youth Snowball Tongokara, and Citizens Coalition for Change Youth and, Chair and Councillor for Obulawayo Ward 22, Meli Bruce Moyo. Welcome to the program, gentlemen. Good evening and good evening. Thank you. Thank you for Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll begin with you, uh, Prof. Mkonza. Um, looking at uh, Zimbabwe's situation, is it uh, unique as we see other countries in Africa also have uh, such a service? Uh, Zimbabwe is not unique uh, at all, uh, but, uh, but um, looking at history and how the uh, National Youth Service has um, utilized, the, as you have rightfully pointed out, uh, for uh, partisan, you know, ends. Um, I, I think the ordinary citizens would be very suspicious of this new move by the cabinet uh, because uh, we know for a fact that ZANU-PF is losing ground um, among the youth uh, and uh, ZANU-PF uh, would certainly be tempted uh, to utilize this program which uh, if it had been implemented in a neutral environment would have been a good um, good program for the country. Uh, but uh, given the situation that we have, uh, it is, I think anyone will be forgiven uh, to suspect that, that Zantif wants to use this program uh, for its own political uh, end, as it were. Thank you, uh, Prof. Baba Moyo, Lina, Ligubona Njandok. Yeah, Baba Moyo, Angela, Lapana, Ugubona Njan. Yes, I never wanted to go on the Yamagi, my father, I wanted to go all Kalagi, a Fulutin Kalzi, including a local Kuyaga, a previous speaker. And one of the very important things that you are witnessing as young people in Zimbabwe is actually a, 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 a motive and an initiative made to uh, advance the cause of the political agenda. I mean, every policy which is supposed to be implemented by companies right now in Zimbabwe, it must be a policy to promote the livelihood of, of young people. It must be a, po a policy to promote employment for young people. It must be a policy to promote opportunities for young people. I feel like this thing that is being introduced right now, it's a, it's, it's a highest level of uh, misappropriation uh, in terms of uh, what the government in necessary, what, what government see fit for important at this particular time, how can you prepare young people to engage in a in a in a violent manner, whereas the country is looking forward for economic development and economic freedom? How can you specialize and focus on yourself in terms of arming young people? Because we know that those avenues that they are trying to initiate are those avenues that will then mentor and make young people to engage in a, 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 a project, especially when it comes to the time of elections. It's all of the tech culture that is in our country, whereby things that are supposed to be done in a proper way are falling, I think, 
Thank you, Mr. Moyo. Um, we'll come back to you. Uh, you raised a, a point there on um, that is not the right time, and um, we will uh, look um, at uh, when is the right time. Mwa si kanyela lolo dawa pambila pana kuto wakatesi si ego baba utongo kara watongo kara muruku iwana sainya i muruku kamchira ose i ku unza shikare kwe national youth service. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think this is a very welcome development. We have been waiting along for this program to come back, and uh, uh, I it's important to buy in uh, in this uh, initiative because it aims to cultivate um, patriotism and sense of identity among our youth. The is not only the first country to have this program, even if you look at uh, developed developed countries like Germany. Like he, he the United of America, Britain, even if you, if you look at some African countries, they have got similar uh, programs that aim to cultivate uh, patriotism in terms of identity among young people. So we are very happy that this program is coming at the right time when we are talking about vision 30. So it is a time to position our young people to participate in the economic development in line with the present in the and uh, we hope that uh, even uh, our private sector will come in and support uh, this initiative. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Watongo Karatichi. Zoka kwa muriwa mkonza. Matora nyaya ye kutin uh, ne, usino uya nema challenges di e kuti kana Uzanu PF ika daku shandisa vechidika wa seja yaka mboita. E, imimi ne maonero enyo, what's the ideal situation and time yingada uti pange pachi introduce or something like that mu Zimbabwe? E, Uungu hicho kwa di, neguti noro ndo ye nyai ya ina kumirashwa kanaka. E, iwa nawadiki, iwa waitoru wa chambes kwa ku maboda gezi training center kakao na kutivai na ito kwa kufungwa the cool uvisa wa mwe wao wa nika tiwa angari we minika ma fellow citizens ee saka noro ee ini ita utuwa na wangari wa munda nga rumao wa chingo kufunga kuti kana nyaya ika zoskwa jino lewa kuti chino kuna kushandi siru wa wanavidu wa taka shara ee kutiwa tika nganse ugaru we have a shungu the Kunyanya can apply to Kanyazi, the Masimba Panyaz, my election. Guan Mati Inganga Iringua in no Inganzi Yakanaka and Gua Kanaka Kuita Junish, Ingua Yakuti, Nika Zimbabwe, Yane Woman de Aino Vimba, Yane Woman de Aino Tikita Chakat, Apanaku Fungirana Fungirana Kunuitwa. Kaka izo zikuitika kwa tu kupatiri pano damuzikori ritori po ndere kuti paka itu kwa my elections apana kugutikana kwa kuti paka kuda msaru zonjizo za 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 kafote wane wanu wese ee zaka urumende ilipo aise urumende ino vindika ee ii urumende kuti kaita kaita ati tombo siyanya yewe chidiki kenda kunya yewe ku ye mari Sirkune sapanya e mari a sinya e putumbuti urumende da kuisa mari inye kutuwa na wazi indi urumende yao taka imindru kut e, nguwa ya kanaka ya kuisa ma programs akaita si program is 
Then ingu wa yekunge kana urumende ye Zimbabwe yava urumende inovimbuka nevanu wa ya veshe dongu wa yekuti wanga iti ma program alo wazi waka hindi za mberi ni kuita zwa haru kido wata ita hao asu wa nani ngu wa chungu uchika kutivedue wana wataka zwa haru wana guna kuhuya voti pandukira kuhuya voti wazo chilo wa shakari wote zwa kaitika ya panguwa ya ya boda gisi no tenda e, prof mkonza kansela moyo e, ugo wakulima la pana uta wala ukuti aisiso iskati ya silungi ya leuti gube guo sensi waloku wena iskati uwa na sengati yiso okufanele e, gulandele imiza yeli so epiwe ya manya maze e, uge nza lulu selo ngeenze la elungi leyo yisipi njalo ukia lukufanele uge nzi wenja ya wana kongi ya mpowe tuna wangye tuwa ni oni ya wana funa tina zeleze ee iskati ya sijitu zenge ngeze si zela kuma elekshini pige ee lako gato kutu wakona haba kukendizo ngeze the purpose and the reason for an election is to allow the voices of the mother to then confidently choose ee umkotele haba le confidence lai haba le trust 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 lai haba both in the opportunity and in the ruling party about the current government that is there in terms of its question to legitimate. So that change the good change in Elysia and Gulongazon are of course the majority of the people who went to cast votes all on the twenty third of August twenty twenty eighteen three was experiences in the having as a less experience before the was which was in the Botang as the next cut of the was in the Bavali Amarun the phrase is that a bit too long. So what you put in the it in this way to the go a state whereby it is considered to be a a a country with a illegitimate government. So what happens uh Gabun Dalo have the collective agreement. So about the collectively they react in everything that is being done by the government. Over I will have confidence, I will have trust. There is no a social contract between the government and and those who are governing. So now we have a social contract to let them in between everything that is being done by the government is for the government, it's not for the people. So it has not just been like a cool issue as the citizens of this. So now the lady with Clara Matiaka, I turn on the water and the same youth ya <laughs> So when the social contract is careful, it is when then the government is able to implement e-police because it is, it is informed by the desires and the will of the people. Oh, my man, I could have police ever. Yes, kwa mwa moyo sio kuzo la pana iskati yeso singani sio kichi magotoa yeso zile o umkondo kwa la pana vile mnyo ongenle ugutingo alo alo ungani yebo yelingeli le guselo alo yelingeli le guselo lingasi pa umbano eno abavanjof. Ye ushelo lwe National Youth Service e osel kalanjalo e Zimbabwe. Aisi ya bonga baba nkiofu ngombo nwe nukanye logu nkena kuselo Nguwa ndo zati manyei Vatongo kara ne muno kuna kupinda wapo Tuliku nzawamu ya uva chita wala nyaya kuti Kanapasi na kuvimba ne urumende Aisi nguwa ya kanaka ya kuti pangipachi unzwa Chirongwa chagada isezo Vano vakambo shunguru tika neve chindiki Vakaenda through national youth service Mi muno shuwa na ose Aaaa Nungu ni ukuboto Wami wanisimu ita kukotanka Kwa shuwa kukwa ni kanaka 
which we are training to be smallholder agro-processors and they can offload their produce to Nesrox farms. These farmers, they are not having any leftovers on their farm, which means they are marketing all their bananas, regardless of size, regardless of quality, regardless of, uh, uh, what can I say, <laughs> um, immaturity, those bananas which are not fit for market, they are all sellable to Nesrox farms. Mercy Corps Cities program supports development of entrepreneurs in the informal sector through financial support. Over 1,000 women in Honde Valley are reaping the benefits of bright innovation as processors and suppliers of bananas. Uh, uh, Mexico decided to fund uh, Nezos brand because, uh, as you all know, he's into value addition of green bananas into flour. We saw opportunity for growth for this project. Nezos is already engaging with more than 1,000 women as processors of uh, bananas. Uh, banana flour flour has become a very uh, functional ingredient that has become very popular with uh, manufacturers of different food products and also skin products. Uh, banana flour is organically produced so that makes it gluten free, uh, a popular product that brings a healthy benefits to the population that consume it and also women will be earning money through that value chain. While most parts of Southern Africa are having to look for alternatives to fight the prevailing food crisis caused by the El Nino drought, Bright Nazomba hopes that his product, with a significant production increase of more than five tons of banana flour monthly, will make a substantial impact and prove to be an effective weapon in this fight. Bright is not alone in his efforts. Farmers and entrepreneurs across the region are also innovating and seeking solutions to address the food crisis, ensuring that all resources, even imperfect ones like bananas, are utilized effectively. Keith Baptist for Voice of America in Honde Valley, Motare, Zimbabwe. And let's take a look at what is happening here in the United States. As Russia pushed into northern Ukraine this week, the U.S. presidential race between President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump remained focused on another foreign policy crisis, the war in Gaza. As VOA's congressional correspondent Catherine Gibson reports, keeping American attention on Ukraine could be difficult. The northern Ukrainian border town of Volkchansk. <laughs> Evacuating just hours ahead when Russia claimed it captured the town. Ukraine fighting back with the more than 50 billion in assistance from the United States approved last month by President Joe Biden. He argued for months that aid to Ukraine is a centerpiece of U.S. national security policy. If the United States walks away, it will put Ukraine at risk. Europe is at risk. The free world will be at risk, emboldening others to do what they wish to do us harm. My message to President Putin, who I've known for a long time, is simple. We will not walk away. But analysts say presidential elections rarely turn on foreign policy issues. The issue of Ukraine barely registers in the polls, and the issue of foreign policy, less than 5% of the people think that's an important issue, foreign policy generally, meaning the relationship that we have with uh, 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 China, Communist Party of China, uh, but also uh, pushing back on Putin and what's happening in Gaza. Presumptive Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump has argued the U.S. already sends too much aid. Earlier this year, the former president suggested he would not adhere to the mutual self-defense pact if Russia invaded a NATO country. I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. That message resonates with voters concerned about American involvement overseas. The 20 years of the war on terror and the, the so-called endless wars probably converted more Americans to isolationism uh, and America first, and that that's why Donald Trump was successful in 2016 and why he is successful at having garnered uh, all but officially the nomination of the Republican Party for 2024. 
The push against funding Ukraine's defense against Russia put some Republicans in a difficult position this election year. But after months of delay, House Speaker Mike Johnson, a Trump supporter, brought the aid up for a successful vote. I would rather send bullets uh, to Ukraine than American boys. With protests against the war in Gaza taking place on college campuses across the U.S., analysts say there is a bigger election season discussion about how U.S. aid is spent abroad. And I do know a number of young voters in this country uh, who think carefully about uh, their student loan debts, as an example. Uh, you know, why are we spending these billions and billions of dollars sending armaments uh, abroad to Ukraine and sending armaments to Israel? Why aren't we using those monies domestically for other issues that need caring for in this country? The aid to Ukraine approved by Congress in April is likely to be the last disbursement this year before the November presidential election. Catherine Gibson, VOA News. And uh, that brings us to the end of our show. Signing off in Washington, I am Shabakan Nuru.